This is Rachel Ravazik. She is famous for painting still life paintings, such as flowers, but today we will focus on her fruit and insects painting. This is an example of a still life painting in which has a symbolic meaning of being realistic and creating an attraction to the image of colors to nature in real life. Rachel was a Dutch artist in the Northern Netherlands, Holland, during the Dutch Golden Age and Baroque time period in the 17th century. The Dutch Golden Age was when the Dutch trade, science, military, and artwork was the most acclaimed in the world. Baroque style during this time period meant art from the 17th century or anything with a complicated style such as this art piece. This is her father in which he was a scientist who studied anatomy and embodiment. Rachel's family, they both represent the time period in which patriarchy is well known. Patriarchy is a system in society when the father is the head of the family and descendants trace through the male as Rachel symbolizes in his study and her painting. When you think about the fruits and insects painting, you think about the deeper meaning. The picture relates to the invention of the microscope in relation to her father as a scientist. A microscope is the sequence of using a magnified glass to view very small objects or and or details. This is fruit and insects done by Rachel. In this picture, realism is shown through the colors of the fruit. Most importantly, symbolism lies within the painting describing the time period. Notice the color harmonies in the painting and how the composition is well placed together to show the Baroque style of the artwork. When you zoom into the picture, you look at the insects and what's created a more realistic platform of life, representing her father being a known scientist that has his own collection of preserves. When you look at the picture from a different point of view, you see wheat, which symbolizes the body of Christ. The wheat refers to the Last Supper when Jesus said, This is my body, as they eat the bread. Draw your attention away from the wheat and you will see these grapes that show in contrast and colors. And this reddish looking grape. The grapes represents the blood of Jesus from the Last Supper. The reddish colors makes the realistic connection to the color of wine. This is the picture of the Last Supper which Jesus has his last meal with, the, with his disciples as he tells them one of them at the table will betray him. In the picture, you see the wine, which shows the reddish color connection in the grapes of the fruit and insects painting, as well as the bread, which represents the wheat in the fruit and insects painting. This painting is so unique because of its symbolic value, iconography, contrast between colors, and its connection to the Dutch Golden Age.